Hi, my name is Alex Craig. I'm a freshman at the U of A, and today I'm in Benton Hill, Arkansas at Crystal Bridges Art Museum. The piece that I decided to do my project on is called Yield by Roxy Payne. Each part of the tree-like sculpture is hand-constructed from thousands of stainless steel pipe, plate, and rod elements, which have all been hydraulically manipulated, cut, bent, and welded into branch-like structures. These structures are meant to resemble trees and other dendritic forms. The really neat thing about this piece is the many connotations that it can hold. It could be determined as just a tree that somebody created out of an unnatural medium, which would show the focus on the juxtaposition of nature and industry. It could also be seen as resembling a neuron. Roxy Payne is known for his dendroid, meaning tree-like sculptures. The word dendroid is also very closely related to the word dendrites. Dendrites are a part of the neuron that resemble tree-like branches. This piece shows great form. It's a very realistic representation of a tree as well as a neuron. The color of a seal easily shows different values and emphasizes the form and movement of this piece. Although trees don't necessarily move, the movement shown is the gradual growth of the tree over time. The art piece also has a very strong sense of unity as well as the balance through the continuity of the tree or tree-like shape and form. I think this piece is also incorporated with the psychoanalysis methodology. Not only does it have the obvious connection to psychology resembling the neuron, but also the juxtaposition between nature and industry. This shows the reconstruction of the past and the relevance of the past to the present. We are no longer a society that uses nature in ways that we did before. Instead, we now depend on more industrial production. It also does represent the formalism methodology. The use of the stainless steel shows the formal qualities of this texture. The steel sculpture is very sleek, smooth, and innovated. Roxy Payne is a contemporary artist, and this piece has a modern genre. It also holds elements of anatomical presence as far as the neuron shape and also realistic forms of a tree. Roxy Payne is a contemporary artist, and this piece definitely fits into the modern genre of art. It holds elements of the anatomical presence of the neuron, as well as a realistic form of a tree. I chose this piece mainly because when I came to Crystal Bridges for the first time, this sculpture was the first thing that I saw. The yield has become one of the most iconic pieces to this museum, so I knew about it before I actually came to Crystal Bridges. But when I drove up, I was really shocked to see the size of the sculpture and the detail that was able to be put into something so large. This piece was my first impression of the museum, and in my opinion, it did a fantastic job. It shows great quality and craftsmanship. It was also very appealing to the eye as well as intriguing to the mind as a whole. I researched the connotation that a tree has, and when I found out, it made me appreciate this piece even more. A tree, as a man, is a vertical figure projected towards heaven. It is a symbol because of its vital strength, annually renewed during the cycles of the seasons, reminding us of the victory of life over death. To me, it also represents the creation and growth over time. So as you can see, Yield by Roxy Payne is a very valuable piece of art that you can see in a day.